Welcome back to Strength Cultures Podcast. Just quickly checking in before the show to let you know that it's the final week to jump on the Strength Culture Powerlifting System Seminar. It is on Saturday, the 14th of October. We have both Didier and Charlie running you through everything that we do as a as a gym to help our lifters succeed long-term in powerlifting technique on the big three as well as all of your accessory movements and getting the most out of that to ensure that we're building muscle both in deficit and surplus phases programming strategies for strength hypertrophy peaking and skill development as well as nutrition strategies for both growing and and building and going up weight classes as well as managing weight coming into competitions and peaking phases gut cut strategies all of those fine-tuned details from a coaching perspective everything that we've ever picked up over the last five to six years of developing some of Australia's strongest lifters here at Strength Culture. So if you're interested it is going to be the first link down below we have four tickets remaining Uh, again Saturday, October the 14th, it is uh, here at Strength Culture. Six hours, get involved. Out of context, Didier's just ripped Buzz straight to his face. <laughs> Buzz is taking offence. Going two, yeah, brother. That's usual. It's, it's it. It's podcast. Double two, double O, brother. Time. Double two, double O, brother. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> what happened to that girl? Thanks She's town. probably still around. Thanks, town. Still rolling. Um, welcome back to Strength Culture's podcast. <laughs> number one in the hearts, number one in the charts. Episode 99, fellas. Wow. We actually need to do something for the hundredth. What should we do? A dinner. A dinner. <laughs> no, we need something on the podcast. Round table. Do get some dinner. of those Polish beers again? A dinner. Oh, no, the Russian ones were. Round better. table dinner. Yeah. Polish okay. ones are good. Wings. Wings. Yeah. Wings. Spicy wings. Sporting oh. globe. Spicy wings. Surely the sporting globe's got like a side room. Yeah, we can have um, post the podcast. Yeah, yeah. The sporting, yeah. Globe. Easy. The sporting globe. Easy. With a big tomahawk. Well, the Royal Stacks has got that podcast thing. Nah, I think they closed that. Why? Probably because who the fuck wants to do a podcast (laughs) inside a burger shop? It's also a pretty small room. It was small. I feel like a lot of those, uh, those like whether where they film like a radio show or whatever would be smaller than you'd expect. I reckon. I reckon they'd be a lot of room here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice. Command spread. Yeah. In there, it would stink. Could you imagine us after an hour in this? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that we drop our ass during this, but still. They're just like... <laughs> just smelly boys. Five heavies in a, in a room. Yeah. That yep. YSL must. Five heavies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so Charles, you're looking to undertake Olympic weightlifting. Well, I'll just... I'm um, dabble, dabble in it. So I did it... When did I come... I've got... um Yeah, no. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I came in two Fridays ago and I was like, I'm just going to do some before my deadlifts. So um, I think a Will Rattel video popped up that morning. I was like, oh, fuck, I'm just going to do it. Like we used to do it back in the day. And so I'll just do some like hang, I was just doing some hang clean. So above the knee, below the knee and off the floor, like a little cluster, which was fun. And then I just did some snatches as well, just 40 kilos really like, because I'm fucking, sh- uh, snatch is probably shitter than my, my cleaning. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just going to dabble in like today before my squats, I'll just dab- dabble in some snatches just to, uh, do them. And yeah, I wouldn't mind, like I've always wanted to, I feel like it'd be cool to like be able to, um, clean like 140 and overhead, like snatch 100, which I don't think, I think with some structured training, I think you should be able, be able, to, get able to get that. You got the strength. Like I know I was speaking to Angus a while ago and he was saying with the strength that you already have, you'd be able to power clean 140 pretty, pretty comfortably. Um, so yeah, just going to start doing it. Just dabbling it. So what, just once a week? Yeah, I was, oh, I missed Friday because I didn't come in, um, because I trained in the garage <clears throat> and I don't have, uh, I can't fucking, I'm not going to, uh. Can't clean with the, with the gonna, calibrated plates? I'm not going to clean with the calibrated <laughs> plates on concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Really? Stu- <laughs> stu- yeah. <laughs> so I won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, at, the, at this gym I will do it. Um, so I'm just going to throw some snatches in today. One, also just novelty. Um, we are talking about the other day, like, Programming can get, yes, you need a program. If you do have a specific goal, you need a program to make progress. But there can be parts of your program that can be up for play. Or, you know, like even I did a little shoulder workout yesterday at the end of my session. So you slam your, you know, your, your three movements that you're, you're actually training and trying to overload and, and progress. But then have a little bit of an unstructured play. Bit of fart leg on the program. Bit of, bit of fart leg, unstructured <laughs> fart leg on the program. So I did like that little that section. little shoulder workout. What was yesterday. the shoulder workout? 
45 degree uh, front race. We're getting specific, yeah. Well, because you, you're affecting the motor <laughs> trying to, arms. Trying to bias that uh, those three fibres. Yeah, three trying to, fibers. making sure I'm getting yeah. those three fibres because otherwise I'm weak. Uh, 45 degree. And then the rear delt one. Uh, like skiers. Yeah, cool. I don't even know what you call them. Chest supported, straight arm, rear delt. Right? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Oh, they're sort of like they're extension. Not yeah. so much ab- yeah. Yeah. abduction. Yeah. And yeah. Your, your rear delt is liddy. After you really get that short and rear yeah. delt, yeah, yeah. yeah, short and rear delt, yeah, yeah. and then just the white raises. Trying place. to get some lower trap, but fuck, it's hard to get lower trap. Yeah, it's a middle you know, delt, middle delt, middle yeah. Middle delt. So just did those, and that was good. Nice shoulder pump. What <laughs> what was it? Three three like a little circuit. I can't even remember the reps. I would have been about fifteen. Just I was play. Just, there's, I was, there's no there's no structure. What a structure. stupid question. I was just going to failure. <laughs> what a fucking dumb question. I was literally <laughs> going to failure on every set. <laughs> yeah, that's nah, that's fatiguing, bro. That's that's. Too much. Today's ruined. So you've got you've got some areas in your program that are just open, and and that's where your Olympic lifting is going to live. Just yeah, free, well, yeah. For now, up. for now, it will. Yeah, well, I'll use it as a warm up for my squat today. Because more like at the end of the day, I'm not going heavy enough yet because it's still like a very skill. It's still me working on the skill. So like, I'd be surprised today if my snatch gets. Uh, I was doing forty. I maybe go to 50 today. I'd like to see if I can get to 60, but I'm not sure I'll see. But yeah, it's not going to be very uh, fatiguing as of yet. Yeah. And so we'll, once we get to heavier, we'll worry about that later. Did you have squat shoes on when you did these? Yeah. Yeah. I find it way easier with yeah, squat shoes. Yeah, the heels. I think sure. there's a reason they wear them. That's it. So. That's it. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> nah, I... Um, no, I didn't mean to say that. Like, no, 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 but yeah, no. I'm just saying it. Did he have a prick? No, there's a reason the fucking Olympic lifters win. Well, I know. I'm joking. We just thought I was. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Before the podcast, <laughs> we were talking about what we're going to talk about. And Charlie wanted to talk about. Olympic lifting. And then Booz <laughs> said, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to Olympic lifting. And I thought he meant like as a conversation, like, oh, what the fuck are we going to talk about? I'm like, oh, bro, you don't have to carry the conversation. And the cunt, as per usual, takes it personally. Uh, <laughs> like, like, bro, I'm fucking saying, Charlie's got something to talk about. You didn't have to carry the conversation. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so settle, bro. It's all right. I'm settling, man. You're dropping C-bombs, bro. Where's, where's the yeah, dog? Did we ban C-bombs? What was the, what was the punishment for that? Slap, slap on across the neck. the back of the neck. Turkey. Can right. I slap right, Here we you? go. No, nah, I'm going to slap Diddy after that. After that. Right. <laughs> oh, we need the, we need the I love how angle. I've come out the loser in this situation. We need the wide angle. Diddy S wears a lot. Oh, shit. You need another one. Oh, that, was one. <laughs> that was a good one. Fuck we needed man. the wide angle. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, no so more C no bombs. C's, all right. No C no bombs. C's, no C's. C's. No C's. No C's. No C's. She mean. So I need something that starts with C that is. I think I'm key to. Cousin. I'm keen to play around with Cuzzy. Cuzzy, yeah. yeah. Cuzzy. This Cuzzy over here. There's, there's a big <laughs> argument in the S and C world about the Ollie lifts. What? Like whether so I know like Are they this, necessary? Yeah, and that's been going for twenty years. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Trap bar jumps. <laughs> Trap bar jumps. But no, I know like Well let's give some we'll, unsolicited advice. Let's yeah, decide let's whether or not it's the people we don't coach. Oh, um I'm out of I'm out of touch with this one. No, <laughs> I've seen I've seen Will Rattel talk about it. I think we all have he he says that learning to, you know, move explosively with a, a, a moving object and then control that moving object on your body is only going to benefit you in athletic performance from a, like a power development, skill coordination. Managing collisions. Though, yeah. I like the way they talk Ma- about Managing it. like in NFL, American football, managing collisions. Obviously here, if you're playing a contact sport, rugby or footy. So I definitely see that argument. Um, then the Generally other- from like a rhythm and coordination standpoint, yeah. an athlete could, 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 do, uh, could do with that. Being overcoming more and yielding. Being more co- oh, I grinned yeah. as soon as you said it. Contract, <laughs> relax, brother. But um, and then you got the other group of people that I think I don't know the argument that well, but it's just like oh, too long to learn. Just fucking give them something. To, yeah, to I throw. think that is, that's the common thing that gets thrown around, Sandbags. and it's probably by people like probably ourselves who don't have experience with Olympic weightlifting. So the perception is, oh, it's really hard. It's really, te- really technical, which it probably is. It's more technical than like a trap bar jump, but. I think, like with most things, then it gets taken too far to where it's like, oh, this is this is so complex. It's going to take a year yeah. to master. It's probably not the case. It's easy I, I to would... say that there's shit versus I don't know how to coach him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I would pretty argue, much. I don't know, like I feel like to get to a, yeah, a really like quality level of ollie lifting would be a quite... T- but I think you could get most people hang cleaning pretty pretty fast. And, like, and they don't need to be perfect. Ish. Like no. they don't need to be like yeah, competition need. standard. It's just throw yeah. some heavyweight around. Like, yeah, exactly. So launch it. Launch it. It is fun because you move like I was doing like the the the, the triple I'm gonna call them a cluster or fucking 
It's, a, it's like a three position. Yeah, like yeah. three positions. So above the knee, below the knee, and off the floor. And it's like you're, you're like that fast, you know. Bam. Bang. I'm actually well, quite slow. Well, they talk about like constructing a program and like filling gaps. Yeah. Like that's probably a gap that's not really being filled by anything else. No. Nah. So it's moving something that heavy, that explosively. And it doesn't even need to be anything like uh, too crazy. Like you just do a few triples to start, bang, mm. easy. And so yeah, that's what Brandon said. It's like just don't like don't ever think how much you have to do yeah. with your current program. Just a couple sets at the start of your uh, at the start of your um your session. That's why today, like I'll just do some. Uh, I'll probably do some if I'm going to do some snatching. I'll probably do some overhead squats just with a bar or forty just to get in the position because I feel like that's not a position that I've accessed much. Um, just to warm up a little bit and do some yeah few few sets of snatches and warm that's up it. To back in Jeez. and then Oi. oh not warm I just no, really. <laughs> and then straight into squats. And that's it. What are Easy. you slamming squats at the moment? I brought the squats back in last week. First Barbell. time. Barbell. Uh, like barbell. Dropping. On the heel wedge. No sleeves, no belt. Raw. Raw, Raw dogging it. Raw. Raw. What they used to be called? No, no, no. The squat. no, no, no squat. Yeah. What? Like no belt, no sleeves, no, no whatever, shoes or whatever. No shoes, no, yeah. Where I come from, we just call them squats. <laughs> <laughs> no wrist wraps. I think it was the other one. Must be the other one. Yeah. Four nose. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I'm raw dogging it. <laughs> We're dogging it. Um, but yeah, they're good. They're good. I Why just, the intro- reintroduction of squats? Test. Was oh, there you go. A few, test. Low test. test low Way test. No, nah, I went to. I went to. I went to. Na- when I went, was at nationals, I was like, "Fuck, I better." It was start. Tony Ryan? That was. The, that I was. I want to start squatting again. Squat. I feel like I, I've had a little break and it got the the hunger back, and now like I, I want them to be. So you're going straight back to low bar, high bar, high bar, high bar. You're going like hams on carbs. You're going. You're not and, cutting depth. You saw me last week. Didn't you make a comment? How deep that was? Oh, that was deep. Yeah, okay. I'm it's a probing f- question, man. I'm, I'm, I'm squatting like... I'm look, I'm getting like inspo from Tom Platt. Oh! Yeah. Deep. Have you seen that Chris eight. Craft? I think I sent you him as well. He's obviously new yeah. newer school, but he's... Yeah, uh, the respect the depth. Respect the depth, man. Like, he's just... No belt, no sleeves. It was rock and lifters. 725 pounds for two reps. <laughs> that 320 like, kilos. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hams on calves. Like, He's unreal close. squat C3 yeah. muscle for those at home yeah. unbelievable respect deep. the depth Tom Platt's deep tier apply. I know we've spoken about him before but the trend twins they tried to do Tom Platt's leg workout and they came out with it saying that they don't even think Tom Platt's <laughs> Tom Platt's leg workout they were that fucking I don't know ridiculous. man have you ever watched a Tom Platt's yeah. interview yeah. he's like praying to Jesus and shit <laughs> <laughs> even, <laughs> even now there's a video of him taking a German bodybuilder through a quad workout and he's wearing like a suit it's the one that's like the most commonly memed like Tom Platt's yeah. video and he's just Sickening. I believe everything. Everything that man that man said about quad training, yeah. I I I believe it. Just he is something else. Barbells and dumbbells only. I don't know, it's not even that, bro. The the thing no, he's on like leg, he leg, he leg he did, just like yeah. not even saying that, just like the mindset this guy approaches training squats. And, well, and just low he, body training. He used to say that like he'd be chat like talking to like Jesus and shit. Yeah, yeah. He would like his intent was like to die. Like if he <laughs> if he was to die in one of those workouts, he would. And I fully reckon he would have believed it. Fully. Have you seen the uh, the dream of bulk? Tom Platt's dream of bulk. Is that Tom Platt or Lee Priest? I think oh, Lee Priest. Lee Priest. Lee Priest. Yeah, yeah, that's with the KFC bucket. Yeah, with the KFC bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's one of my favorite photos ever in like bodybuilding and, and like physical culture. There's one of Lee Priest like absolutely diced. His tricep looks like a croissant and he's just like flexing his tricep. And there's Tom Platt's in the background just like screaming. And it's this black and white photo. I think I've seen that. It's yeah. so it's good. Mad. It's Crazy. so good. First time I've ever seen a feathered tricep. I was probably like 17, 16. I was like, Jesus Christ. That's not human. Those, Lee Priest was a god. Those guys are jacked. They were. It's like five foot. I think the the new. <laughs> <laughs> if, he was, if he had, he would have won the two one two every single time. No, that the way, Olympia. that way. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. That was Is that the only C-bum though. No, 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 that's classic physique. So two oh. one two is two two twelve pounds. Yeah, this is the shorter division, and then there's the Olympia. So C-bum's in the Olympia. C-bum. No, so there's physique. so now the classic physique only came out in like the last ten years or something like that. Yeah. Because what happened was when they started like blasting all these different drugs and became like freak mass monsters, the biggest criticism was like bodybuilding is not appealing anymore yeah. to anyone. Because yeah, you'd see guys like fucking guns. Yeah, yeah, you'd see guys like Rolly, guns, yeah. Rolly Winkler and shit like that. It's like side on, and just this huge guts, and it's like, all right, something's there's nothing appealing to this. Yeah. And like even you guys now, I don't know if you've seen like Nick Walker, like one nah. of the new guys now. There's just like. <laughs> 
just just mass, just pure mass, and it's not like that appealing to the eye compared to what like the was. classic physiques, yeah. like Arnold, Frank Zane, yeah. like all those guys, like Serge, was it Sergio Oliver, the and tapered stuff like waist. That. They look like statues, man. Burritos. Yeah. Like that was the the goal then was to look Burritos. like a, a Greek god. <laughs> yeah. Where now, of course, a Greek god. Yeah. Nothing else. Not a Roman <laughs> god. Anyway, <laughs> the like the physiques now. There's like it's like this is not appealing. It's not marketable. Everyone knows these guys are blasting drugs to no end. Like this is not it. So that's when they introduced the classic physique, and then Seabum and all those guys started coming through. So I'm going to assume here. <clears throat> with the so the, the, the guys got the big guts because the fuck the amount of drugs they were having was the, the organs were growing. I'm not. I actually, I've always I actually don't heard know. that that's what it was, but I have no idea. So the like C bums and shit. Like, like GH like less gut. Like, yeah, that's what yeah. they always t- call it. Like. Yeah, but then I think it's, I, I don't know if it's the drugs, but some of them like that Rolly Rolly Winkler, Winkler. Got, he ended up getting he ended up getting it under control. So I don't think your organs end up shrinking. I think they just grow to that size. So I think they just end up training their waist a bit more, like with vacuums and shit like that. I think you just let it yeah. go. Compression. Oh, also, um, and just feeding, just general feeding. So they don't eat to bloat. Like they space their meals out a bit better. Because in the off season, they're eating that much food. The bloat actually like... Stretches Increases, stomach. Stretches yeah, stretches, stomach. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So That'd like be difficult to manage just with the volume of food had I not be fucking... Yeah, bloated through there, like yeah, hundred wow. percent. So then, then it's also like just walking around on stage, making sure that you're constantly being contracted. conscious. Probably an active, yeah. active decision. Fuck you. Don't let yeah, the gunt yeah. out. It's protecting. Keep the gunt under control. Gunt. It's funny. I was watching that. Um, there's that Arnold thing on Netflix. It was, Pump, it was pretty good. Like pumping iron. Tra- no, 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 not pumping iron. There's a new oh. one. It's it's like came out it's like a, yeah, recently. One. Um, and it's funny. How I feel like back then, even though they didn't make as much money or like they weren't, it was a bit more like niche bodybuilding. Like people saw bodybuilders back then, like Arnold and Franco Colombo and all those guys. And they were like, it was like out of this world. Like they'd never seen anything like it. Whereas now they're way bigger, like whatever. But like, I feel like if you're in fitness, like, oh yeah, that's, you know, who the best bodybuilders are. But like mm. to the general public, I, I feel like people don't really pay attention to it. Where back then, like your average Joe, who's never set foot in a gym, like, oh my God, these guys are crazy. There was like this buzz around it back then that, I think now, just because for, for their time, they were just so like, oh, just out sure. of this world. Where I think now we're just so desensitized with it. Like, oh yeah, that guy's got yeah, 40 you, inch quads, you whatever. Like. social media and you just see these fucking freaks all day. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I feel like that's the same with everything though. Like the, yeah. the aura of like athletes and- Even like musicians and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah. yeah. Like that was so larger than life back then because yeah, that was so like, yeah out of this world untouchable like but now yeah. you see them every day on fucking their story or whatever it's beautiful yeah you see all sorts of stuff and you're so yeah. exposed to yeah. just the, the pipeline of yeah free content baby clout see, um, <laughs> clout you see the subway performers in New York on the yeah they're mad the homeless like guy that has like a voice like he's some a monster man it's like like yeah. Fergie and Jesus yeah. yeah like mixed together I think Fergie's lost it uh, she got in the pipe Bugger. did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's. I think she's clean now. Oh she's no! Clean. Yeah, no, yeah. Have you seen the video of her performing um, at the NBA? I don't know if it was yeah, a golf, yeah, golf yeah, state versus good, someone. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. The national anthem, yeah. Yeah, the national yeah. anthem. No good. Oh, it's horrendous. No one didn't. Did, did, Probably did the their, worst. No ever. one did their due diligence before. No, it's uh, funny. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. She must have been off it on the night. But they're, they're like panning across the players, and the players are all like looking down and like smoking and shit. Oh no, it's bad. And I think one of the players was going out with him at the time. Really? Out with it, yeah. Just swinging in to let you know that our novice competition on March the 23rd is currently open for coaching application. So our novice comps are built and we actually fucking love running them because they sort of remove the competition aspect of powerlifting and they really are just, uh, everybody's just going up for themselves and trying to break their personal records and push themselves. And it makes the community and the event actually just really fun, really sort of like removes that intimidation and, and, and uh, can help with people that are maybe feeling less confident with powerlifting or, or putting themselves out there. Maybe you don't feel like you're strong enough to compete yet. It really just removes all of that and makes the powerlifting process really fun, really exciting, and you can push yourself. So our next Novice Comp is on March the 23rd. Our coaching intake is open. If you're interested in speaking to one of the coaches here at Strength Culture about getting on board and undertaking some coaching and some technique help here at Strength Culture over the next few months, you can reach out through the second link 
down below. Uh, that will have all the information needed as well as a form that you can fill out and I'll be in contact to help set you up with the best suited coach for you. So if you're keen to try powerlifting, maybe have your first crack at a powerlifting sort of competition, even though it's not a competition, it's just a bit of fun. I think our novice comp is the best place for you to start. March 23rd, second link down below. Let's get back to the show. Dramas. Also, Charles, you watch a bit more footy than me. <laughs> Do AFL players ever sing the national anthem? Because at the grand final, they panned the Brisbane players. Only one player was singing. I'm like, sing. boys, what's going on? Like, um, I don't know. Go pause. Oh, they're trying to be hard, mate. They're trying, to look, just trying yeah. to look tough. Can't sing, mate. Do the, do, the NBA, uh, uh, do the NBA players usually sing a bit when, when they're singing? The, uh, they, were, they didn't look like they were singing, oh, that. Maybe not with Fergie. Oh, but like, I I'm feel like, like there's <laughs> not that much patriotism with the Australian. Oh, there's definitely less, but I'm like, it's the anthem, man. Sing the anthem. Because like, it's, yeah. I don't know. It was weird. I was like one of the guys. I'm like, they're all just like. Is it like yeah, a political thing? Maybe, like, maybe. I don't. I don't think it's a political thing. I think it's just they just don't sing. I don't know, bro. If I was about to go out to war, I wouldn't be singing the anthem. That's fucking... Wolfie Maybe country. I'm not that patriot. You're not that patriot. Well, I'm not. I, don't, I, I, I still, I just don't think this. You'd sing the Greek national anthem, wouldn't you? I don't no, know. He doesn't words. know it. He doesn't know it. <laughs> I know the first few I words. I don't speak Greek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just look like I can. Yeah, I don't know. If, I just don't feel like the. I don't know. I don't know. It does. It's not the same. Yeah, the Americans are on a different it's a shit anthem too. <laughs> the Australian? Australian, it's shit. What are you talking oh, about? I don't mind it. It's, it's not the best. It needs to change. It's all right. Could be way better. It's all right. Way yeah. better. What would you do? Get Fergie to write it. Yeah, get Fergie to write get it. Get <laughs> fucking what's that? What's that Andre classic? Three thousand. <laughs> what's that? What's that classic by Fergie? That London Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the pan of New Zealand one's mad. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a hard style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got 140 40 BPM. They got Skrillex to do it. <laughs> they got Skrillex. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, I think the Aussie anthems are right. Um, Dids, how's your training going? <laughs> Back into it today. First session post comp. Last week I just did a run. Um, ran. Ran, I did a run oh, yeah. And then this week Back to it So it was good Smash session out This morning Day one It felt good I, w I was cooked But it felt good to just Yeah yep. What's your plans So A bit more general stuff now I've got Hobart But I don't really want to Max out I just want to get a qualifying total For next year Under 90 So I'm probably going to Train into it And just Yeah Put up something reasonable But I don't really want to peak for it I just want to want to get back to it After Nationals I was like That was good PB total But I just want to get back to work. I don't want to peak again and yeah, maybe hit like a 10 kilo PB total. I'd rather just train through. So yeah, into the rest of the year and into new into the new year. Yeah, just So you're going to go under 90s? Under 90s, yeah. yeah. So consistently been about in the 92s, which is the lowest I've been in a long time. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep slowly chipping down and then yeah, by the time November is around, I think, yeah, yep. under 90 should be pretty easy. And then will you plan next week, next year, just go straight to Nats? I think so. I think so. Um, I think... Depending on when it is, but yeah, I think if I can do that one as the qualifying total, and I don't have to do another one, I just, just want to accumulate training because yeah, it was, it was fun to, to do the the few comps, but after you do a f obviously I've done a couple in a row now to do a third one now it's like it's just a big stint of training where yeah you're you're testing your strength but you're not really like building it. I just want to build build no not just SPD build everything you know overall strength variety of movements like there's just a lot of different things I want to bring up. So Clavicular pec. Clavicular pec mainly. Yeah, that one prim to a, primarily. That's the key, key yeah. to a big bench. Popping out the top of that wrestling suit. Short um, and rid delt. Can we get you back into oil lifting? Oh, well I see I was doing some about a month ago. I did it for a couple of weeks because um, Jack Clark showed me some and it was fun. I, I'd, I'd definitely double with it now. Maybe as a bit of a warm up on deadlift day. Um, I think what did I hit 85 or something for a single. Yeah. For a clean. Yeah for a clean. Hang clean or full. Uh, off the floor. And here we go, here we go, was boys. It a, was it a power? Here we go. No, it wasn't a power. It was, <laughs> just, a regular, it was, just, it was just a It was just a regular clean. Um, but no, it was fun. I'd, I'd definitely... Snatching... Look, just like... you do, Even with Save 60 today. kilos, I do a clean. I'm like, this is fun. Whereas a snatch, like a similar weight, it would be 40. I just don't find it as Are enjoyable. you nervous? I'm not, but there's definitely probably some nerves involved. Mm. But whereas cleaning, even with 60, I'm like, oh, this is mad. Like, this is fun. Whereas with... I don't know. Snatching just isn't, I guess at face value as fun to me. Whereas I can yeah. see myself doing some cleans. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to have to get into it, boys. Wipe the floor. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I got to yeah. hit 100. And then we'll help yeah, we'll golf. Can, we power. Can you, yeah, would, can power. your shoulders catch a bar? Yeah. You did 60 yeah. snatch with Brandon last time. 80. 80 snatch. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. 80 snatch. <laughs> 80 snatch. I was pretty cooked after. Was it 60? But I think it was 60, man. <laughs> was it 60? Oh, 61. 120. Donnie just bring him back down to 130. Earth. Oh, 180 snatch. Yeah, 180. Easy. There you go. Bro, I'm pretty sure it was 60. Oh, that's it. That's 60 it. 60 snatch, I feel like would be a lot. All right. Yeah. For some, yeah. My apologies, guys. It was a 60 snatch. Yeah. No, it was a 61 kilo snatch. 
Six yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think months. with the ollie lifting too, it's just like the... I've also did it to 320. Yeah. <laughs> the curiosity as well. And like we, we've been doing, all of us have trained a very long time. It's just like, you want to dabble. You want to learn. Yeah, yeah, some fun stuff. Fun stuff, as I said. But like, you know, you still, you still, we're still be crunching our squat and bench and pushing our running. You know, and get the six minute mob, but then throwing some ollie lifts as well. Learn, like the learning, it's quite it's enjoyable. Learning. It's 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 like with running. Like part of me wanting to get at least decent at running is like I don't want to like look back years later and think I never ran. Like it's it's, it's not even I don't care what I hit numbers. It's just like oh, I want to know that I, I gave it a shot. Same thing yeah. with like ollie lifting. Imagine like you look back ten years later, you've been in fitness for. 20 mm. years and you never did a clean like you never cleaned 100 like give it a, no, give it a stab 100%. have a stab have a stab and like. you read all the old you just read you read all of it and like cleans are such a staple like they've it's always, still just there. like they've a been there. it's like yeah. I'm so embroiled in physical culture and I, st- I won't learn that mm. movement and yeah. it's like yeah, we're only what however like yeah we've been doing it for a while but we're only however many years into this career barbells are shit anyway <laughs> Everything's shit. Barbells are shit. Yeah. <laughs> we need a platform. We need an Ollie platform. I reckon we just revamp the whole gym. Yeah. I reckon we get rid of all the machines and make room for Ollie platforms. Ollie platforms. And GHDs. And GH- wall balls. And GH- GH- turn into a oh, GH- oh, CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And wall balls. Crazy. Nah, nah. <laughs> when I worked in group fitness, the we pendulum would do hasn't swung mega that far, wall yeah. balls. Heaps of wall balls. Nah. Fuck wall balls. <laughs> I couldn't do but that. But the, the, the thing is too, like with the train, like what Didier said with the, especially with the running now is like- The twisting. Um, you, you, it's all, it's all, it's all building. So mm. we're like, he just did a comp, but we are running. We've got the 10K. So same as me. Like I ran a uh, 10K last week, like wait. So I've done two 10Ks in my life. I did one in March after try and I did this one last week and it was way easier subjectively. Okay, so I've gotten fitter, but I've just been chipping away at it two times a week, just running and just chipping away. But then the lifting is going well, and then you dabble, and then it's like you start to bring in this complete athlete. But people don't give themselves long enough with a certain endeavor to actually see. Or just and training. that's the thing. If you just train, just just, that's, that's what they, they don't like give themselves a chance to train full stop <laughs> yeah. long enough. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think when, <laughs> because, because if if you haven't done something for an extended period of time, us with running, us with cleaning. You don't need much to progress. So someone might think, oh, you know, I don't want to do Olympic weightlifting because where am I going to find the time? Or I don't want to run because I'm already training. But like, I've, I've ridden running once a week. My running getting better. Obviously, at some point to continue improve my running, I probably need to do the second. But the last eight weeks, I've run once a week, but my running's getting better. Same thing with cleaning. We could both clean 10 minutes a week twice a week and we would see improvement with cleans for a good time. Obviously, mm-hmm. at some point, you could probably need to do more. But there's so much ability to progress without having to completely revamp your training schedule and yeah. suddenly have to train eight times a week. Like you just don't have to do that. Like, and, and with that as well, it's like, it's one thing. I, like, I feel like someone could listen to these conversations and be like, all right, these guys are going full low lifting or full running or whatever else. It's like, it's quite literally the programs have been exactly the same for however many years your bias might be more bodybuilding at the moment, but there's still squats, there's still deadlift, there's still mm. bench variations. You're still squatting, benching, deadlifting. I'm still doing some variant and a lot of bodybuilding. It's just that you've added a run in a week and you've added like four sets of Olympic it's, lifting a week. Yeah. And it's enough to keep it novel and fun that's and it, enjoyable. It. And it like feels so much enough. different. And, and, and as like we've talked about so many times, what, what keeps you rocking up to training consistently is what's quote unquote most optimal. Because my tr- my... my Program now from my coach because it's funny you'll get a new coach and people are like oh like if you learn anything different like it's like it's yeah I've, I've learned things but in terms of the program it's kind of the same the ch- the programs Charlie used to write me versus the ones Alyssa gives me more or less the same we squat we bench with some accessories like it's all the same shit so I'm, I'm basically doing the same training mm. the only difference now is I get up an hour early on Saturday and go for a run instead of getting here on the doff my shift like that's that's really all it is you yeah. don't have to completely revamp but doing these little things makes it novel versus on a hypothetical situation, all I did was hit weights. Mm. There's probably going to time, going to time, going to become a time where I just get bored of that, and then I drop yeah. off, and then you stop training, which is how you stop making progress. Mm. Like, because the mindset is you want to do this for twenty plus years. Like that's that's really it. Like people look at these animals on Instagram and whatever else, and they're like, oh, I want to do that one day, and it's like, yeah, you know, they've, you know, they've been doing that for a while, and like there are some special people that can just SBD or just bodybuild forever and do it. But they're the, they're, minority. The, they're the minority. The reality is like for us, I know that for me to do this for 20 years, it needs to be enjoyable. It needs to be sustainable. There needs to be some minor pivots here and there. So it's like, it's almost like that's a necessary 
just a little little twistings here and there, a couple of cleans there. But even just there. like changing up like the squat variant that I'm doing and going with the heel sleeveless. No, no, no. no Come no, on, no. Charlie. Call it what it is. No, 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 squat. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it interesting because it's all of a sudden that, and it will carry over to your actual squat. So if you do want to, you know, get and do a powerlifting comp again, you're not, you haven't gotten weaker. If you're squatting ass to grass, high bar squats, you are getting your, your legs are getting stronger. Um, but it just makes it a bit more novel again and a bit more interesting rather than just doing the same shit over and over and over again. And because uh, the flip side is you just keep doing the SPD. You could make progress, but then through that process, you have to accept there's going to be periods of time when it, where it feels like you're not making progress. And we've all gone through it. Whereas by mixing it up, like you going, no, 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 ask the grass. You're, you're creating a, an environment where you're going to feel like you're making this progress. Because how, how often have you progressed that variation of a squat? Probably not often. Never, so yeah. suddenly everyone's going to feel like a PB. You feel like you're smashing it because mm. you've just altered it a bit. And you could do the, the opposite, but you have to accept that you're going to have to feel like you're plateauing. And that's tough. Whereas if you mix it up, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm hitting PBs I've never hit before. And you feel like you're making some momentum with your training. 100%. Yet. Yes. So what what have you hit with the no no no? What, I only did the last. Yeah, one. what'd you hit? Oh fuck all! I did one forty for six and one forty for four. Two sets. I only did two sets, and I'm probably only going to do two sets again today because even with the two sets, my doctors, my doctors were cooked <laughs> after the pendulums this morning. Yeah, it's fuck man. That's, that's that's what you get. Uh, no, I'm not saying that's what you get. But like, when you <laughs> that came out really aggressive. When you don't squat, yeah, you, 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 you're oh my god, because yeah. I hadn't yeah. squat. I had literally haven't squat with a barb. I've only been doing pendulum squats since before I went away. So that's well over three months ago. I just knew you're a doctor, especially in that deep yeah. bottoming of, out in, in a mm. squat, like that deep position, you're using a lot of adductor to come yeah. out. Like my adductors are going to be- and The they, way you were walking around the gym was so funny. Oh, I went to bend down. I was like, oh, yeah, no, that's what it <laughs> was. Hand, the the he's walking around his hands on his adductors, like toes out. It's like, oh my God. I never locker. felt that. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's probably the longest sitting. you've had off like proper squats yeah. like ever. Like, so again today- Saying because I want to run 12k tomorrow, so I'm gonna just take 12, it easy. Nice. 12K. Yeah, I did. I did a couple okay. sets of pendulum this morning, and I, 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 I think I bent over to get my phone, and yeah. as soon as I bent yeah, over, bent my to, left oh. adductor, and it was just like, and then I went to do another set, and I, I was like, it's gonna cramp. It's, it's, it, it was like right on the precipice, yeah. precipice. of, of <laughs> cramping. <laughs> precipice. But um, yeah, no, nah, 100 adductors are cool. So you're running 12 tomorrow. Yeah, I did 10 last week. And then this is my last big run before just a week and a half out from the 10K. So next Wednesday will probably be like an easy 4K, four or five, just tick the legs over. Um, and so I was like, I want to, I'm going to go slightly over 10%. What's that? That'll be 20% over. Shimane. Shimane. Yeah. At, at what speed? <laughs> Slow as nuts. <laughs> Listry, nah, yeah. what I do last Listry. week? Last week I did the 10K. I think my average speed was like 6.30. Try and hold that? Yeah, if I can hold that. That's kind of like, yeah, I can sort of sit around there okay. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't run 10, 12K before, so <laughs> yeah. we'll see. Michael Rackish ran 17 Ooh. On, on Sunday. That was his last big run before the half marathon. So he'll do a 10K this week. Then Wednesday again a really easy small run and then the half marathon. But he said the last two Ks he found Jesus. <laughs> oh really? He found Jesus, yeah. It was hot as well. I actually saw him. I was driving home. <laughs> so I went to pick up So I'm just floating. No, just I said the, <laughs> we went to we went we took the dogs to the park. We went and picked up the car from Brighton Beach Hotel, so I took the, the scenic route home down uh fucking <laughs> beach road and I saw him running. Crazy. And uh yeah, so it was hot. It was warm. You see all the, all the on the beach right, all the all the now I've noticed them all the, all the enduro runners got their bags on, yeah, with their so their gels. They're about fucking three percent body fat. And their gels, yeah, bottles they weigh about fifty kilos. Yeah, yeah. How's your uh, peak going, Buzz? Yeah, you ready? Good, good. Is ready. This peak is this peak more in line with the literature than last peak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just. <laughs> the literature suggests you need to train <laughs> the weeks leading into comp. No, I did. I did. I'm just. I did. I did. <laughs> sort of did. Anyway, this time, yeah, for sure. For sure. I had the, the, yeah, had my taper session on Monday. Felt heavy, but I know that in six days I'll be, I'll be fine. It felt heavy. It didn't look heavy when I, when I watched it back. But um, we've got the last bench session tomorrow. Run's going good. I actually like, I, I, I didn't even know, but with the calf issues, it was like a 10 week period. I barely ran. Um, or it took me to get back up to my normal volume and I've hit the 800s 
and I'm at the same pace that I ran the last one, if not a bit quicker, um, for two 800s back-to-back with a very short rest period. So I could be on for a PB. I think knowing how to pace it, knowing how to attack it a bit more, and then knowing that I'm around that ballpark, I reckon I could... I'm definitely on track to PB bench, deadlift, and the mile, which is why I did push-pull run one into two. Like, I just needed to PB because last time I didn't, didn't yeah. do shit because of the disruption. Um, so, yeah, definitely on. Body's feeling good. I'm hanging for the next block. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just I'm hanging to get into something that isn't just centred around singles. Hanging for it. Cleans, triples. Yeah, I was, like, I was, I was talking to Charlie and, and Ollie, one of the boys here yeah, yesterday. We've got dramas. We've got dramas, man. What? I want to do everything. <laughs> it's 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 tricky. Like, I definitely want to cut. So nutritionally, I need, I need to do that. So that's... Yeah, I'm there with you. I'm definitely... That starts next week. I want to drop a decent amount by December. Probably like eight, eight, nine Ooh, kilos. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I want Shit. to get proper. You're going hard. So that's it. I've said it. How are you going to manage that? Eat less. Just, yeah? Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah Are you awesome. tracking? No, you're meal planning. Yeah, just meal. I'm just cooking food. Just cooking yeah. food ahead that's of schedule. Classic one. That's, that's really... Just cook more meals. That is the biggest one for me. So I just cook like three days at a time. Yeah. Um, and that does it for me. And it takes like 45 minutes tops. Bags of salad. That's the answer. Oof. Prep and salad isn't it for Potatoes me. Potatoes in the microwave. Yeah, that helps. Easy. I hate cooking meal by meal though. I hate it. I hate I actually it. love it. I hate it. It yeah, is such a time, time thing. Love it's it. just, I just. No, so, yeah, what I, I tend to like, what I did yesterday, I cooked a whole packet of chickens so that's cooked. And then mm. the potatoes just throw them in the microwave, done. Yeah. And then green beans, microwave, done. And then I just add it together. Easy. Done. Done. It's like and those sauce? It's like, it's like 15 minutes of microwave. I like the um the bullseye barbecue sauce. I got the oh, yeah. original and the sweet whiskey. Yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Juicy. Baby Ray's there. I know it's Baby different. Ray's different too. Baby Ray. I'm a big <laughs> Sriracha Mayo fan. And the, cube, the, the half fat QP. Yeah. Both of those are incredible. I could drink. I could oh. drink them. So yeah. drink them. Unreal. And a big one for me is sugar-free soft drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Massive one for me during a diet. I love like, sugar-free It works soft drink. so well. Um, but yeah, we're training. I don't know. I've gone I've gone in this, like, like looking at some of the old school, like, blog. Uh, reading blogs. Shit. Like, not reading the blogs, but some of the coaches that I used to read in the blog era. And then also... I've got a Kindle and I've got like a few like old school books and I think some of like Dave Draper who was in Pumping Iron, if you guys remember it, they got, they got the blonde hair. Um, he like, he has got a, he had a famous or did have his passed away now, famous forum that like Dan John used to write on and shit like that. And like, I'm just reading about this shit and I don't know, it's like brutal fucking simplicity. Like these guys, the way they write like is just nice. The way they talk about training, it's just like, this is this is beautiful. Like training is a, like a beautiful thing, and the way they write about it is like this is unreal. Anyway, a lot of the lifts that it's centered around is obviously like the press, the overhead press, the deadlift, um, the clean, the snatch. Barbells. It's like it's just like barbells, barbells, and then some dumbbell work around it. Reading all of it, I'm like, this is just mad, and it's like there's a big <laughs> part of me like as like a I'm not I'm definitely not a pure strength coach anymore but i'm like there's a part of me that it's like as part of my development as a coach like i do want to learn the cleans snatches Mm. that sort of stuff i do i think overhead press like reading how how these guys like i know it's not a necessary thing like just dumbbell overhead press less extension stress like stimulus to fatigue and the 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 scheme of a program but the way they they romanticize the overhead press is like mad like i love it like that is the true feat of strength the overhead pressing something overhead look when, like, it, when, it, when it comes down to it when people like drink the optimal kool-aid i think they don't actually care maybe they do but it's, it's not that they truly believe that this is optimal it's just that they like the narrative around it they and, and, mm. and i think i've fallen into the trap of points the whole oh, optimal optimal this you know fiber target it's just a story and the whole overhead press is also a story just yeah. pick your story follow it and train hard as long as like so everyone's mm. got a story that, mm. but and then but you, you've just obviously gravitated towards this different story right now yeah. and it, it, for for you that's what's and I'm, I'm, I'm not having a go but I'm, I'm no I'm no, no that, like, that's then that's fully it like I'm not looking at this like this is the the best way to build strength hypertrophy best way to build a body or whatever else it's just like this is mad this is it's mad like it's honestly like this is mad and then also like you I, sold me on the mad shit yeah it's just, just do like, shit that's mad it's just do shit that's mad like that that's honestly all it is but then if I look at it from from like a physique development rationale as well. Like 
I don't know, man. The period where I was barely training arms and just hammering dips, pull-ups, and chin-ups, it looked like I fucking gained an inch on my arms, like, yeah. in a quick period of time. So it's just like, I don't know, there's just 80s. something to that just brute strength. We need to make a program for the app called 80s Strength, and it's just fucking overhead press, dips, pull-ups. Shit. 80 strength? <laughs> Is that an Instagram thing? Like someone's Insta handle. Have I just ripped that? I Maybe. apologize to 80 strength. So, we'll go Don't worry, it's a shit program. So, all right, we'll, yeah. go, yeah. we'll go 70 strength. No, just call it Early shit 80s. program. Shit program. <laughs> Mid-century no, no shit gains. program. It's not optimal. You'll I'm, make no gains. No gains on this program. You're missing program. about 40% of the body's muscle fibers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll just pick a Maybe. year. 1982 strength. And we'll just fucking. It's it. I could be wrong. I could be we're wrong. Gonna and we're gonna to we're gonna refilm all of the videos in a tank top, and in black yeah. and white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw we'll someone, someone like a baggy stringer the other day. I'm like, have to, have to, <laughs> have to. <laughs> have to. Right. 1982 strength. I reckon That's we it. actually do that. I might write that one actually for the app. Yeah. Man. yeah. Four day a week, um, just main mad movements. Yeah. And there's there's might even put dips, cleans in the warm up. Weight. Fuck no, it. for sure. Clean A1 has to be open. cleans. <laughs> no, it has to. The video is us trying to fucking work out how to do cleans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, this is the tutorial video on the app and it goes for 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do that, uh, a little bit more of this. Uh, uh, no, nah, I still look shit there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, are we doing this right? Come on the journey with us. Fucking A. Cleans. Yep. Yeah. 1982 um, strength. All right, I'm going to write yeah. that program. Yeah, no, definitely do it. Yeah. Do it. But that's that's not the issue. The issue for me, the pre- like that, that's the crux of it. I want that to be the program. But then it's like with the triathlon prep in December. I'm like, yeah. there's, just, there's just too many. And then I'm like, well, it's only October, December to the end of the year. It's only like eight weeks. Maybe I'll just do two a days till the end of the year and just see what happens. Like if I could just become a freak. Oh, wow. I haven't in done a that cut, in ages. Though. Yeah. So we're gonna aggressive. Yeah. How many? Well, what, what all the cardio will be. October. All the cardio will be. be li- you won't have to touch the food as much because you'll be training so much. That's right? what I mean. All the cardio will be like this anyway. It's all steady shit. I'm not gonna do any speed work. Yeah. So if you look at the bodybuilder, would you do they sprinting? Do steps, yeah. Sprinting. Uh, yeah. Nah. There's no point running. Uphill sprints. Nah, not for me right now. I remember that. That'll be the ninety-two strength. Because I look at it again. The cardio. The hectic shit I look at is just like. There's another one that's hey, if you want to sprints, is it? But I just like for what I'm doing and then how many splot slots I've got. Then someone will say, You've got room for five by ten axles at the start of your workout. You're probably not wrong. Five like by ten accelerations, like oh, yeah. start. Just, uh, just, 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 yeah. just track a few tour about you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, um, Chris, would, you used to do. Um, um, I was thinking Axel, like fucking Axel. Axel <laughs> Press, that's the next frontier <laughs> strong man. We've got fat bells and shit. 100%. When yeah. I was at Cressy, he used to do uh, like these. Like long, they were like forty meter uphill sprints. It was like yeah. a little, like a a grass driveway type thing. Just punch him, come and pull like six hundred and fifty pounds, and then just smack the roller. That's that was so Steve sick. Magnus. <laughs> that was so sick. <laughs> Steve Magnus that. talks about the uphill sprint um, for power development with running because of he's like no the ground reaction force fuck all because you're obviously going uphill um, and just from yeah producing power. Yeah. There's a good little ramp um, at the end of the Patterson River that I might fucking up to start hitting. Yeah, hit some well, there's no, there's no issue. I like, I just, I just in say, saying it out loud. Like, I don't think I would put do full speed workouts. It's not it for me. But I don't think there actually is any issue with doing five by ten. Yeah, just like little fucking in, in the, at the start of a workout. But yeah. I, don't, I don't, I'm not fully there yet. You I could just do look the Jeremy Borzilla and just do laps around the fucking car park here. Bro, I've foot- done that at the end of a run. <laughs> I like, I had like five minutes left of a run and I got here from the loop that I did and I was like oh, I've got five minutes left and you just car park and I'm it? just going to jog around the, the gym for five minutes <laughs> right. how long did he run for? I think it was 30 minutes he, he, did, did, he, did he ran for 30 I ran he for did, five minutes I'm like this is he did a 5k out the back this he did is a 5k shit. not out the back the driver was just like back and forth back and forth it's, it's almost like, an hour. like you know you do suicides and like yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, touch it, boom just back and forth back. I was running around I was running around it and that was enough for me that was he was just shit. going out the back lane up to the main driveway back back down the lane like Jeremy just that was like one of the big, wildest things you've ever done that, that was unbelievable that was that was, that that was mental resilience uh, 100% yeah you could call it that Dog you could call it that <laughs> I listen to you call it a bunch of things going outside of him <laughs> I can't remember this guy's name. It was, he was an ultra marathon runner on Joe Rogan, and he's run alt hundred mile, so like one hundred sixty kilometers on an ass track. Oh, it's just a lap. You'd, after the surely lap, you'd after fuck the, the ground up. He's Bro, like you'd lose your mind. The cons are you lose your mind. You got to keep your mind stimulated. He's like the pros are that every lap you can like 
you know, you, you can, uh, you've got your team there, you can fucking refuel, whatever. Well, everyone's there, everyone's yeah, there. Yeah, it's yeah. easier, whereas like in a big race, they've got to be really well planned yeah. out. I saw, I saw, it was sort of a lot. Jesus, Lucifer. I watched Allah. I, uh, Allah. Really How many the laps The is Prophet that? Muhammad. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. They're all one. Ganesh. That's what no one's telling you. Huh? <laughs> That's what no one told you. They're all one. I realise that. The gods. The gods, yeah. They're all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same story. Yeah, they're, no, nah, it's all the same. Right, there actually is a lot of there's a lot of common a lot of common similarities between look the at stories. The, all the religions. They're the same like thing. What about old mates? What about Siddhartha? What about the old Buddha? Buddha, yeah, yeah. the prince. About. It's, it's four hundred laps, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, that's out. a bit of a, a lot of laps. Turn. About Alan Watts, wow. bro. Alan Watts, I yeah. like Alan Watts. Taoism and that. <laughs> what were you saying about the gods? There's only, there's only oh, one. No, there's one a god. lot of like, if you look at a, all a lot of religions, there's a lot of similarities with like. They died like well, obviously Christian. We know I know Christianity more because we went to a Catholic school. But like you know they uh, they died and resurrected three days later. And there's a lot of really like in Egyptian like other whatever the same like they follow the same thing and they had twelve disciples and they had they just don't call them that. It'll be a twelve or whatever. Yep. Yeah, twelve cousins. I feel like mm. I saw that on that. What was that fucking not funny junk? Alex Jones. Oh, was it was it was, it, was, exactly it, was, it, was on Info Wars. It was Info Wars. Back to Charlie's favorite website. Shit, it could be nearly. Were you guys watching InfoWars before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, <watched> in. uh, <laughs> I don't know why that just triggered. I, yeah, like, you what guys was I did, doing? I was doing no, something. You and Anthony we were having way your too weekly loud, dude, You guys were like fucking organizing and shit. And three stooges were just sitting on the couch watching InfoWars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I doing thought a, his website got deleted. No, no man, his website's there. still it's, there. It's, it's going, it's live 24-7. Uh, 24-7. It's never stops. It's, yeah, there's just <laughs> constant content. Just Wait, constant. he sits there? Nah, he doesn't sit there. But like, there's a video constantly playing. I was playing. Him. I don't know. I watched. I was. At, I was at home. And it's I a twenty-four-seven channel. No, I don't know go, if it's twenty-four-seven. There's constantly a video it's, playing. It was cent- Central Time. It was eleven thirty-four. So it's like seven thirty there. I don't know if it, it's keep got keep Camp going. Trials. It goes off of your time. So I just went on it. It was like eleven thirty-four Central, which is theirs. It just I don't know. It must yeah. play for the a few hours. The problem with that cunt, he just you get a slap. You just said the c word. Oh fuck. He says. <laughs> He says every so he's delivering it. Who's gonna slap Diddy? He could have the that's some. Like, hold on, hold on one second, Charlie. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know. Do we need to keep going with the Alex Jones talk? Slap? He said some shit that was true, which is the scary yeah. part. Okay. <laughs> 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 There's another one. Yeah, yeah. Nah, Jamie, go, go, go you slap him. <laughs> I'll get the neck again. That was, that was fucking hard. Wait, that'll teach you. It'll teach you. <laughs> I'm a reformed swearer. We're going back sixty years ago. Yeah. What? Oh, like in, in school. school, when in school. Used to beat you. Oh, because oh, I said that'll teach you. Yeah. yeah no, no, school. no. Finish the Alex Jones. Stop that. I want to. Oh, just he's he he. I should have never stopped. He it. might have some stuff that's legitimate, but because he sounds like a nutcase and probably ninety nine percent of the shit he says, and also says a lot of busted shit. He says so much. Oh, stuff he said, much said shit. so many. Yeah. He's and done just the way shit. he executes it, he sounds like a nutter. So you're not gonna. Yeah, he's yeah. done some pretty fuck. He's a nutter. I thought he's. No. I thought he was. I think he got, got removed. Sued. On that was, no, but didn't he get like removed. sued by, for, for like two hundred billion dollars? I think that. Yeah, I think Sandy, that's all yeah, in the process. Sandy Hook. Yeah. So it was the Sandy Hook. He said it was all. He said that was a, a yeah. false flag and yeah. it was all a hoax. I think yeah. he might like harassed like the parents and shit. Like it's pretty yeah. fucked. Yeah. And then so, so oh so I, yeah I thought he got. Everything taken I think off. The big thing is, he was taken off YouTube. That was like the big kind of controversy. I think. But he still has his website. Infowars is his own. It's a website. Yeah. His website, that no one regulates that. I th- well, you know, like YouTube, someone owns it, so they can be like, you're off our platform. Yeah, Whereas no. the internet... Well, Bro, there's websites for everything. There's yeah. like Stormfront, the KKK forum and shit like that. So like, no, they, one, yeah. no one can take your website. Because I think from as like, from an American standpoint, I think it's harder for, them to, for, for the government to regulate the actions or the words of individuals. But like YouTube isn't the government. So the YouTube can do whatever they is want. Is that because yeah. they have guns? Like Zuckerberg can Correct. do whatever he wants. Yeah. yeah, because it's not. Yeah, they make yeah. it harder to find, so it's not as easy to Google. Yeah, like you can like say like four chan and seven chan after all that. I didn't know there was a seven chan. No, because they changed it. They oh, changed right. it. Okay. Yeah, and there was a nine chan, chan as well. <laughs> oh, bro! What? Don't worry. There are some. There are some. Put some chans out there. There are some. Different language man, right there are some holes I've gone down on the internet. It is scary. Chan. The sca- The extremism on the internet. I read a book once and just extreme like all the different kinds tribalism just everything just like literally every group like there was the QAnon shit and then there's like remember Q 
The guy that yeah. would leave the breadcrumbs about COVID and all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I was like, well, where is this thing? Like, I'm just curious to see because what do they call them? The, like the Q Believers? And there was that documentary on YouTube yeah. about the Q convention. Q and on. And these Shaman. people nutters, man. It's scary. They, they, they planned the what's his name? What was it called? The storming of the, storming the capital. Of the capital. Yeah. Yeah. Storming of the capital. So there was the planning of that, like on Seven Chan, and then deep in these forums and shit like that. Yeah. And there's just people. So you can't just actively Google Seven Chan. You need to. You got to find your way. You need to go to Dot Onion or whatever it's called. No, you don't have to go through the Tor browser. You no, can go no. through other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. I've no idea what Dot Onion is. Google. There, yeah. Zeitgeist. So tall. Zeitgeist is it. 100%. What's that? That was what, what? I was talking yes. about before. Yes. <laughs> With the religion stuff. Zeitgeist. What is it? Zeitgeist. Was it, was or, or it was this YouTube that video that was bouncing around <laughs> trying to say what Charlie was talking about before, where it's like all these religions are actually got so much more in common than the yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. The stories and, and the narratives and the. The, the the general sort of teachings of all of these religions have way more in common than in disagreement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he just, it was like a 20 minute video. Yeah, and I remember yeah. we all, we were like year 10, 16, the worst kind of people, 16 year old males, <laughs> but um, we all watched it and we all came into religion the next day or whatever. Yes. And we we're all just like, you're fucking wrong. Fucking wrong. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like blasting all of the religion teachers in the school. We're no. like, no, no, no. A, six, a, a, a year 10, 11, 12 religion teacher has probably got one of the hardest jobs in the That's world. That's when you're high what? test. Your high test. That was before we'll low test. If you're, high te- if you're a high test douchebag or you're an angsty teen. Yeah. Like one of the two, you're in strife. Because once you see like an Al Jazeera video at 16 and then you're like, there's kids dying in Afghanistan. And then you go into a religion class, like God's not fucking real. (laughs) What kind of God? (laughs) Anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's not, that would be a shit gig as a teacher. Is that when you're, when are you at your highest test? Uh, you're, now, d- you're definitely not there. This is a, <laughs> this thing low test conversation. Is, is when so when, when are you at your highest level of test? I'd say oh, like no. 23, 24, surely. I never got there. <laughs> yeah, like, I never got tested. I'm broke. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe it is like 16. I think it's, surely it's like 16. Man, young. your body's changing This is so a Google. Much. Something's got to be pumping in your veins. I'm low test now. <laughs> Very low test. I, mean, I, test. I reckon it'll be like 16, 17, wherever the hill. And I reckon it's pretty stable until you're like 24. That's my guess. 20 to 25. There you go. Right. Donnie, you're at, you're at the peak <laughs> right down. now. We're, pe- we're bottoming out. Yeah. I'm just over the hill. <laughs> just over and the hill. The it's all downhill from here. The lowest is in the 65 to 70 year age group. Yeah. She. 20 to 39. Total I still like what you said numbers. about the te- test is meant to, it's meant to come. Because like you're meant to, as you. You're meant to soften. Yeah, it's like, so as you, uh, yeah, low 20, you're meant to be this like alpha male character or whatever. Us, and us then, you know. Yeah, yeah no, I'm low test now. <laughs> and then as you get older, you become a father and you get older and a grandfather. Your test is, me- and you're meant to, and you become the more old, old mind wet. A bit more, bit old, more mature. Wise yeah. man. A bit less like, you know. Rash and reactive. Yeah, a bit yeah, less reactive. You, yeah, you become yeah. a bit more. Like, me, like me, kid me, makes a mistake and kick him in the head. That's it. It's, yeah, it's necessary. It's probably, it's, it's probably it's necessary. <laughs> like, like me on a Monday night last night. I think I think it's happened to me, boys. I'm I'm becoming low test because <laughs> I, 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 I don't finished, know, bro. I've I seen finished, you flip the fuck out of the I gym fin- floor. I, I, have, I also have flipped. The, no, that was that was, bro. That was that was old me. <laughs> I, after last night, I'm like, guess what? I didn't have a go at the refs last night. <laughs> That's it. I'm like, I'm so mature. Like, that was that was the moment. Where I'm Next like, week, oh, decision doesn't very, go your way. That was, that was like, very well thought out. Are of you me. normally blasting refs, are you? I'm blasting you in there. <laughs> look, look. Watch this. Next week, Didi is going to drive his car through the foyer. <laughs> you can't blast the refs, man. Look, when it's egregious, well, I, I'm not. Look, I've had. What's, that, What's that mean, bro? You think you're better than me? When it's like really bad, I'm like, means. yeah, like. And oh, that's a Stephen A. term. Well, how do you I blast? Couldn't define it. Egregious. I'll be like, okay, I was, oh, come on, man. Like, what's that? Where's the foul? Just like, oh, that's yeah, all just, right. Just, yeah. just, just a little pushback. Just, just, right. yeah. just a bit of pushback. So yeah. egregious means outstandingly bad or shocking. Thanks, right. Stephen A. for that one. Stephen I didn't know what it meant. No, no, no I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I couldn't define oh, I it. It's just I've heard me, it. I thought you no, no, called me Stephen I'm, A. I'm thanking no, Stephen A. Like asinine, egregious, all those words he loves to use. Yeah. I hate Stephen A. I oh, love really? him. I, I love him. Stephen. I can't get enough. I'm, I'm, nah. I'm a big fan. I, I, I watched him on the Paul pleasure. George. I watched him on the Paul George podcast. Yeah, and you I was hate like, Paul George. Why are you watching Paul George podcast? I actually like Paul George. Podcast P is a good one. Didn't you say you met Paul George and he fucking. I didn't meet Paul George. I got screened by a security guard. Boom. Or my mate got screened by him. Make up your mind. No, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, a man grows, all right? Just I like me. That version, 
I wasn't no, a fan. I started the, watching high test version. I started watching this podcast, and I was like, you know what? I just, Pete, what is the podcast? Podcast Pete. Who the Pete? fuck is Stephen Pete. A? Pete. Stephen Pete. A. He's like the, they call he's like the goat Pete? of yeah. like yeah. NBA. Just fucking just. It's like the footy show, but for NBA, that's your show. Yeah, um, first, first take. take. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He just just talks, and he, he talks about NFL too. But I don't. Yeah. Know. It's the number I'm one saying, sports. Watch him. Thing. Watch him on Paul George's podcast. Is full pop star. He's got the glasses. He's got the shades on, <laughs> and he's just like talking how like. <laughs> Like people would call him to just like resolve issues and yeah, he's like a rock star like of the world. He's yeah. like a rock star, and it's like, yeah. man, relax. And it's like, you know, Curry is like, <laughs> he's like got his, it's like he's, he's got a lot of respect for me. It's like I don't know about yeah. putting words with Kyrie Irving's I'm man. Funny oh about that. He was on, he was on flagrant. <laughs> no, he was on flagrant. He's really good. But back to Kyrie. So Dave Portnoy fucking hates Kyrie Irving and was just been calling him out for years. And Kyrie was like. Take me in a one-on-one basketball game. <laughs> and Dave Fortner is like, you're yeah, fucking oath. So they're going to organize a one-on-one oh basketball game. <laughs> it's going to be like the typical, like, oh, I, I could do that with Kyrie or whatever. This guy's just going to get fucking oh destroyed by What's Kyrie. He, what, he's smart, though. He'll get eyeballs. He'll get plenty of eyeballs. <laughs> there's a video. There's an like, ex-player that was a meme. Was, was his name Brian Scalabrini or Scalabrini? Yeah, Scalabrini. Yeah, 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 yeah. Played for the Bulls. The goat. And people used to rip. <laughs> they'd rip him. Like, they'd call him the goat. Because he was a else. champion. Like, he probably played like three minutes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think he had a series after NBA to just like show the difference between what a bottom rung NBA player would be <laughs> against the average. the average person in gyms. And he would just slaughter people. He would absolutely yeah. just slaughter, like yeah. points to nothing. Yeah. Um, this is the difference would be so, oh, it, man, it, so it, big. To get into the NBA, you're the absolute cream of the crop. And even though everyone's like, oh, he's a fucking scrub of a player, like you destroy anyone out there. Yeah. yeah. Put him in any Scott, league Scott Pippen was here. Scotty yeah, saw that. yeah, he was at the NFL, uh, in a, the AFL and NRL Grand Final. Have you seen? Crazy. He was on the halftime show of the NRL Grand Final. No hey, Michael Jordan's <laughs> son is marrying Scotty Pippen's ex-wife. Yeah, I saw that. Ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lara, was, Laura, Laura Pippen, or something. Like Laura oh Pippen. Nah, nah, nah. Ex-wife. Bro, she's like she's like late forties, fifties. She looks like not a not That's a day weird, over man. That's weird. Fucking yeah. hell. Michael Jordan's son. How old is he? He probably be like late twenties now. Yeah. I think. Jimmy yeah. Butler. I'd imagine. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy <laughs> Butler. What is going on with Jimmy Butler's hair? All right. So, <laughs> <Someone> Jimmy <laughs> Butler. No, have you seen, did you see what Jimmy Butler did last year? So, he clean shaved and he got uh, like a, a dreadlock weave. Yeah. So, on the media day, they take your photos for, for the, the year. year. So, when they, whenever they display like Jimmy Butler and like these are his average stats for the season or whatever else, it goes with the photo they took on the media day. <laughs> so, he took this dumbass photo of him like clean shaved in dreads. Like, it doesn't look anything like him. <laughs> So this year, he came dressed as an emo. So he's done that with the piercings and whatever else. He's saying he's depressed because Dame Lillard got traded to the Bucks and didn't get traded to oh. Miami Heat. So it's like a message, but he's taking the piss. Yeah. And they took the media photo. So now for the remainder of the year, he's got like a side it's fringe. It's going Jimmy Butler with the, the emo, the fringe and the piercings and shit. Okay. It's actually hilarious. He's hilarious. He's a he's kid. so good. That's so funny. He's so how, him. How about Giannis and Dame? Yeah, big. That's rapper. big. Dame Trades. Lillard got traded to the Bucks. Who? Dame Lillard. I don't know who that is. He's a weapon. Big hey, time it's, a, it's like the Brad Maynard of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Put, put it in. Put it in. Big time <laughs> scorer. Big time scorer. Big time player. Where did he come from? Blazers. Trailblazers. Ah, oh, see, so don't know that team. All right, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up. Portland. I know Portland's a bit weird. Apparently. It's like the hipster. It's really weird. I think they've uh, yeah. decriminalized pretty much everything, I, I believe. Is Oregon Portland? Yeah. Portland, Oregon? Portland, yeah, Oregon, I think. Yeah. Portland's, Portland's a city, Oregon. Look at that. that. that is. Jimmy Butler. <laughs> he's hilarious. So, so his media photo now. He'll show the, the camera. stats come up. Is that all right? Is that in Zoom? Is that in Zoom? We, need the, we needed the this reaction, reaction cam video. To this that. is it. Yeah. We had a few that we could have reacted to. Fucking hell. Jimmy Butler, the goat. Jordan. The goat's son. Um, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Again, uh, we have free casuals for the month of October. Come down in any of the coach shifts. You can just message one of the coaches or message the page and we can organize that. Um, and also the novice comp is open March 23rd. We've started opening, uh, started taking on uh, new athletes and new clients for that. So if you're interested in getting stuck into some powerlifting with the support of the team here at Strength Culture and the community, the novice comp is open. It will be the first link down below. And yeah, we'll see you next week at episode 100, fellas. I'll bring something in. We'll do something. Oosh. Birthday something cake. In. Birthday cake. Done. Oh, easy. Cheers like that. Cheesecake.
Thank you very much for checking out episode 99 of Strength Cultures podcast. We're closing in on that 100. Just finally, before we wrap things up here, I just want to say uh, again, we have four tickets remaining to the Strength Culture Powerlifting System Seminar. It's next Saturday on October the 14th. That will be the first link down below. Secondary to that, if you're interested in undertaking powerlifting and trying powerlifting for the first time, I'd recommend our Novice Powerlifting Competition Coaching Package. That is also linked in the second link down below. Uh, That competition date is March 23rd. And then finally... Uh, we are running uh, free casuals for the month of uh, October here at Strength Culture. The only caveat is they have to be within our coached shifts. So if you're interested in coming down, hitting up a session, maybe looking to check out the gym, maybe you're thinking about joining or anything like that, uh, you can come down uh, in our coached hours throughout October for free. So please come down, check it out. Simply message one of the boys on Instagram or message the main page to set up that session. Um, But yeah, we hope to see you at something coming up, something that's uh, popping up within Strength Culture over the next few months. And um, yeah, thank you very much for checking it out. We'll, we'll, We'll see you next week for episode 100.